delicious. What did she do again? Well, she broke into a medical lab out at UBC uh, after a night feeding and let out a dozen monkeys before she was caught. Was she alone? Yes. And did you recapture the monkeys? All but a chimpanzee. The police had to put him down after he got hit by a car. Is she some kind of an animal rights activist? No. She never done anything like it before. I wonder why she's doing it now. Huh. Claims she saw a news report about um, animal lab testing and decided to set them free into the wilds of the city. Well, I can understand where she's coming from. Well, no matter what her feelings are, Michael, when she let those chimps out of those cages, she broke the law. Yeah, but, I mean, it could be worse. She could be into drugs or street gangs or something heavier. Look, you think the ranch is the right place for her? I don't know, but it's not my call. The judge already decided for us. Cute. Real cute. This is your court order, Chris. Not a toy. I don't care. That lab was doing terrible things to those animals. What about the chimp? He wouldn't have been hit by a car if that cop hadn't been chasing him. They should have shot the cop instead. You ever think that you might be responsible for that animal's death? I knew he'd rather be dead than in a cage. The court did not ask for your opinion. Your sentence is two months. <sighs> Good luck, Dr. Terry. Come on, let's go. Lightning is a good name for that one. Yeah. 
And if I'm lucky, I'll make some money on him. That depends if he's as good a stud as he was a runner. I'm surprised his owner would give him up, even if he was an old college buddy. A rich old college buddy. And Lightning's racing days are over, so he gave him to us. Then he'll get a great big fat tax deduction. Makes good business sense. I never understood any of that stuff. Where did I? That's why I'm here. Hey, Michael, you want to cool him down? I'd love to, Vic, but I got to get to town. I promised Rachel I'd do that year-end report for her supervisor. Right. Chris, why don't you walk Lightning back to the stall? Sure. Michael, that's a valuable stud horse. You can't let some irresponsible kid... Fox, have... she's here to learn responsibility. Well, I guess there isn't much can happen between here and the barn. Okie doke. Is uh, Miss Woods in? Uh, I'm waiting to see her. Oh. Who are you? I'm uh, Michael Terry. I work with Miss Woods. Oh, right. You're the one that runs the ranch. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I've read a lot about your place. You get lots of publicity. Mm -hmm. I'm Linda McCarthy. Hi. I've been asking Rachel to get me out there. Did she talk to you? No, but... I can't afford to hire more help right now, anyway. No, no, no. I meant as a volunteer. You see, I've been through the ringer myself. Uh, drugs, alcohol, the works. But now I work upstairs at the crisis center helping other kids, like on your ranch. Oh, good for you. Well, I'll talk to Rachel about it. Don't you want to see her? Why? I already talked to you. Good morning. Hi, Michael. I'm sorry, but the report will have to wait. What's wrong? I'm due at the police station. What? Someone broke into my house last night. Did they take anything? Not that I know, but he left a mess. It's all so creepy. Do the police have any clues? He was wearing a ski mask. All I remember seeing were yellow rain boots. There's only about 10,000 pairs in this city. Okay. Yeah, I'm fine. But there's a detective, Kramer, who's waiting for me. I really have to go. I'll come with you. Great. You drive? Sure. I'm still shaking from last night. I guess so. You did that real well. I was just thinking, I haven't wrapped a thoroughbred since I had a summer job at a racetrack after high school. Had a jockey chase it after me. I was too fast. <laughs> you have to do all the horses' legs like that? No. Nope. Thoroughbreds are real delicate. They get special treatment. See, his legs are swollen just from that short gallop. But he'll get better, won't he? No. His racing days are over. He's finished, poor thing. That was a complete waste of time. Yeah. I told the police I couldn't see his face. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to tell you, there was somebody waiting to see you. What did she say her name was? Dark hair, glasses, works upstairs? Linda McCarthy? Yeah, that's it. Anyway, it turns out she wanted to see me. About a job, right? Yeah. She's so persistent. I guess that's good. She's come a long way to get that confidence. Far enough to help with other kids? I'm not convinced. They seem to like her at the crisis center. But she's got this idea about your ranch. What? She thinks it's 
Nirvana or something. Well, isn't it? <laughs> hey, Rachel. Why don't you knock off for the rest of the day? Not a bad idea. Rabbit. Guess what? What are you doing here? Uh, I'm here for our appointment. Oh, I forgot. Um, can you wait outside while I finish up? Sure. Rabbit? Nickname. I placed him in a foster home. He'd rather report in to me than me go there. Well, I don't think Rabbit will mind if you cancel his appointment. I hate to. He looks forward to these meetings. He's got a... a thing for me. Huh? Just a crush. But we've talked about it. Mm -hmm. It's under control. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, <clears throat> if you should need me for anything. Mm -hmm. Rabbit? Go on in, Rabbit. Have a seat. Everything's fine. I'm just trying to relax. Okay. Well, if you need to talk to anybody... Great. I know the number. Thanks for calling. Michael, I told you I'm fine. Hello? Who is this? Hello? You said you liked me. Who is this? You lied. Who is this? You'll be sorry. Do the police have any clues? No, they're putting a trace on my calls. And you didn't recognize the voice? No. It was muffled. Strange. After Rabbit left yesterday, I went to look for his file and I couldn't find it. And then I remembered I'd taken it home with some other work. But it wasn't here either. I think whoever broke in took it. Well, it's gotta be Rabbit. Oh, I'm not so sure. I may have misplaced the file. I can't believe he'd do anything like this. You said he had a thing for you. Obviously, it's not as under control as you thought. <sighs> I don't know, Michael. I just don't know anymore. Maybe the file will turn up someplace. Yeah. I think I better sleep on the couch tonight. Oh, uh, some people might get the wrong idea. Oh, uh, well, okay. I guess I can sleep in the truck. It's cold as hell and I'll probably freeze to death. The couch will be fine. What do you think of him, Joel? 
Any rancher give his spurs for an animal like that. I'll pay Michael to bring lightning down to my ranch to stand it stud. You get a cut of everything I make. We can stand him at stud ourselves and not have to share the take. I'm already set up, Fox. This is something I've wanted to do for a long time, and now I've got the chance. All right. Well, I'm sorry I can't talk you out of it. If you change your mind, I'll take them off your hands. Oh, you don't know? No, what? Well, let's just say he's gonna graze in, uh, of course, heaven. Good boy. Police don't have enough cause to investigate Rabbit. You've got to let me check up on him. Look, that information's confidential. You won't be breaking any rules. I'm a psychologist. I'm doing an evaluation. Hold on for a second. Oh. That was the uh, office calling. Rabbit's been phoning all morning. He's a little obsessive. A uh, little? He's been having problems in his foster home and probably just wants to talk to me. We're not going to take any chances. I think I better go visit Rabbit. I'll see you later. Rabbit? Yeah? I'm a friend of Miss Woods. Oh, yes. I saw you at her office. Yeah. So you work with her? Uh, sort of. I'm doing a little follow-up. We can talk. No one's home. Good. Miss Woods told me that you're having problems with your foster family. That's not my fault. Jeannie keeps stealing money from Mrs. Nelson's purse, and it blames it on me. Miss Woods is the only one who believes me. Yeah. You like Miss Woods, don't you? Yeah, she's been very nice to me. You ever call her? What are you talking about, those phone messages? I mean, call her at home. No, I don't even know her number. Are you sure? I swear. You know the file that Youth Services keeps on you? Yeah. Have you ever seen it? Why would I? I don't know. I thought you might be curious as to what it says about you. It can't be any worse than what the Nelsons already say. They always accuse me. Okay. Uh, I'll tell Miss Woods. Hey, and I didn't mean to pester her about those phone messages either, huh? I wouldn't do that again. I promise. Okay. Hey, are you sure you're not a cop? <laughs> I'm sure. Thanks. recommendation for Dr. Terry yet? Oh, sorry. I, I've been sort of busy. Oh. Oh, that's okay. Shouldn't you be at work? Yeah, but I'm on a break. It's been so crazy today. I mean, just one phone call after another. You know, I'm really interested in getting like more involved with some kids. I just feel it's so impersonal over the phone. Everyone has to do their part, Linda. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Bye. I thought you might be hungry. I am. Well, I saw a rabbit, and uh, he didn't show any hostility. I couldn't see any files, but who knows? Well, if it's not rabbit, who could it be? Do you remember exactly which files you brought home that night? Yeah. I should go through them. There might be somebody on that list that's got a grudge against you. Call it an occupational hazard. 
Besides, the police are handling it. Well, I'm not going to wait around while somebody tries to... To what? Pizza? To what? I don't know. I don't know. I just don't want to take any chances. Don't worry. I'm being careful. You sure are. You are the one who should be careful. You don't have to worry, Lightning, because I'm going to take care of you. Hey, what are you talking to the horse for? Huh? You think he understands you? He understands everything. Oh, yeah? Well, why don't you ask him what a key sells for in the street? Don't be stupid. Oh, yeah, look who's talking here, huh? It's really smart talking to a dumb animal. He isn't dumb! Oh, pardon me here, huh? You're right. He's stupid. But hey, he'll make great glue. You don't make fun of him anymore, all right? Yeah! And no more glue jokes! All right, ma'am. Lay off! Lay off! Jeez, you know? Y you make like he knows what I'm saying or something. I'm not gonna kill you, boy. I'm not gonna let them. Searched Rabbit's house and didn't find anything. Look, would his foster family have any reason to cover for him? No. They don't get along. Oh. Because they established his whereabouts both for the night of the phone calls and for the burglary. Well, if it wasn't him, who was it? We don't know yet. The security guard's legit. He heard you scream and came around to investigate. Right now, we don't have any other leads. But we'll be in touch. I thought this was going to be all over. I am taking you to the ranch. What about my work? It can wait. You get lots of support from Fox and Vic and CC. You need to get away from the stress. And if you should happen to get bored, you can always help with the kids. You don't want anyone to know where I am, right? Well... This is the real thing, isn't it? Let's go. Cece went all out with dinner. Yeah. Well, I think it's a treat for him to cook for somebody who can appreciate Bernays sauce. It's also a treat to cook for someone who can pronounce it. Cece, what are you doing? Electricity, Michael. You don't want to waste it, huh? Ah, sleepy me. Good night. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Sheesh. Cece <laughs> has this thing about us. About us? Yeah, he thinks that we're perfect for each other. Perfect? Yeah. He thinks that we're similar in a lot of ways. Similar. Hmm. I guess we are. I mean, I think things out and you rush right in. <laughs> I try to say the right thing and you speak your mind. I'm cautious. You're adventurous. <laughs> Real similar. <laughs> I 
Is something bothering you? No. You know, you've been a little distracted all evening. Have I? Yeah. I'm fine. Have you ever thought of accepting the promotion that youth service has offered you and getting off the front line? You mean become a supervisor? Yeah. Well, you know, the times might be just right, you know, before you hit burnout. Mm. I guess that way I wouldn't have to deal with problem kids, right? You've done your share. Do I ask you to sell your ranch every time one of your kids starts a fight? Rachel, that's different. Why? Because you're a man and you can take care of yourself? I didn't say that. Look, Michael, I appreciate your concern. I really do. But I love my work. I like knowing that I've done something to help kids who have no one else to care about them. It's important to me, same as it is to you. I, uh, I, um, uh, I think it's time to turn in. You know, it, it would ruin our professional relationship. I'm not so sure. I've thought about it many times, but it always comes out the same. We'd be compromising the objectivity we need in our work. Do you have to be so analytical? <laughs> For now. Breen's ranch. He won't let them waste you. Shh. Don't wake the guys upstairs. It's okay, boy. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay, boy. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Doesn't anybody ever eat before they get arrested, huh? Has anyone seen Chris? Yeah. Morning, boss. Yeah, okay. Good, thanks. Yeah, bye. Good morning. Morning. How are you? Good. Rachel, are you sure you gave me all those names? I'm pretty sure. You know... I don't feel good about you going through those files. That information's confidential. I know, but if Rabbit didn't steal it, then somebody stole his file just to throw us off. I'm going into town now to check the names. If anything comes up, I'll get back to you. Michael, uh, I, I feel so silly. I don't need to stay here. I can get around. Just stay put and relax. Let me take care of this. Call me. Where's lightning? 
I thought you were out with him. He wasn't in his stall, so I thought you were. Chris must have taken him. We gotta find them. You get the horses ready. It's my woman. Chris, if you hurt that animal. Uh, where did you get those files, Linda? Well, I found them on the shelf. I was just going through them. Those are for caseworkers only. Yeah, I, I know that. But, uh, see, I, I don't know how to file reports. So I thought I'd use my spare time and learn how. <laughs> well, I appreciate the interest, but um, they're really very private. I'm afraid she's not in today. Oh. Uh, is she at home? No. Um, Linda, right? Yeah, you remembered. That's great. Well, do you know where she is? Because I've, I've got to talk to her. I've got some really great news. It'll have to wait, I'm afraid. Oh, well, it can't. You see, because I just got this promotion at the crisis center, and she helped me get the job, so I've just got to let her know. Okay. Just a second. Hi, how are you doing? I'm fine, but one of the horses got out. What? Lightning. Oh. Uh, Fox and Vic took the kids and went to look for him. Good. Is CC taking good care of you? Yes. He's shopping in town for my favorite dessert, creme brulee. You mean you're there all alone? Don't worry, I've got plenty to read. But he could be gone for hours. Michael, I'm fine. You remember Linda from upstairs? She's here, she wants to talk to you. Hang on a sec. Hi, Rachel. Hi. Mr. Billings wants me to work full-time at the crisis center. That's great, Linda. I'm happy for you. Yeah. Well, get better real soon, okay? Bye. Thanks. Hang on. Bye. Bye-bye. Rachel, you didn't happen to have Linda's file at home with you that night, did you? Yes. Why? It was just a feeling. Would you mind Michael, if I... you cannot go on a fishing expedition through those files. Okay, it was just a question. I'll get back to you if I find out anything. Bye.
Hi. Yes? I'm looking for Linda McCarthy. She does volunteer work here. Not anymore. I relieved her two hours ago. She told me that she was offered full-time work here. <sighs> full-time therapy is what she needs. She lives in a world of total fantasy. Here it is. This is her from my office two days ago. Operator. I need to make an emergency call to my ranch and mission. The number is 555-3244. There seems to be trouble on that line, sir. What kind of trouble? It's out of order. Are the lines down? We don't have any reports of problems in that area. going to horse heaven. I only meant that he was going to have a good time. Sounded like he came from over there. I'll go ahead. You follow my tracks. Come on. Take some time. I just wanted to save him. From what? We're going to stand him at stud if we can get him out of this mess. <laughs> but I thought that you were going to... You thought wrong. And the next time you go on one of your misguided crusades, you just make sure the animal's in danger first. <gasps> Easy, boy. Easy, boy, easy. You liked me. You lied. What are 
you doing here? I saw your valuation report in my file when it broke into your house. You said that I was full of delusion and fantasy. That's what you said, no. didn't you? It was an old file. You were doing very well. I ruined it like you this. ruined it. You ruined it. They fired me from my job. But you told me that they wanted you full your fault. Because you told them I couldn't go. No, I didn't. You're lying. No. You're lying. No. Where is she? In the tack room. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm okay. some extra help here. You could tell the kids how you how you dealt with your problems. I didn't mean it. I know you didn't. And you can deal with them. Why don't you come with me? finally learned her lesson. I don't think she'll try anything like that again. Here you go. Thanks. How about taking me back to town now? Now? Do you think you're ready for it? Yeah. There's work to be done. And Rabbit's probably wondering what happened to me. But don't you think you should stay for a while and uh, uh, unwind? So you can talk me into taking that promotion? No, but you have been through quite a bit. 
I've made up my mind. Don't you think I can stand up on my own two feet? Watch. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> well, <laughs> maybe I will stay a little longer. Oh, well. If you really feel that you have to. Yeah, I do. Well, I guess it's okay. <laughs>